Honus, in love to you. These are your soul truth messages. This is what your soul is wanting you to know right now. And we also, uh, before we get started, want to let you know that uh, you are loved and supported more than you know. And that um, there's a lot of frequencies out here on YouTube that you have to be real mindful for. Like the ones that says, get rich fast or um, luck. Because those frequencies will is, is meant to manipulate and program you. You want to stay far away from those. So you want to be real mindful of the frequencies that you listen in. So you can trust all of the frequencies. Your body will also feel real weird when you listen to it. So... Um, Self-Healing Collective, they are amazing with their frequencies to be able to assist you on your healing journey. And um, yeah, I'll post in the description box below. Am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? <clears throat> are you going through some change? Are you scared to let go because of what you might lose? What if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain? Endings are actually new beginnings. Let it go and embrace your new beginning. Today, make a list of all the things you will gain from the change you are going through. Feel your heart. Take a breath and deepen into trust. Amazing things are coming. Do I surround myself with people who lift me up? The people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? Do they help you step into your greatest potential? Those are some very important questions to ask about the people that you hang around. Family, friends, whoever. You want to start watching their actions. Watch how they talk to you, speak to you, what they do. Do they show up and you know, when they call and things of that nature, you know, are they lifting you up and giving you goodness and equal reciprocity and always showing up and showing out in every way that they can? You know, are they living a good life, you know, making real healthful, positive choices for themselves? <clears throat> Make a desired list of the type of people with whom you wish to surround yourself and clarify if there is anyone in your life who no longer serves you. Can you love them from a distance? Yes, love them from a distance. You have to be able to set yourself free. Not everyone is meant to go where you're going and people will have to raise their vibrations and frequencies if they want to be in alignment with you. You're not meant to hold yourself back because others are choosing to not grow, expand, and evolve. Some are really comfortable living in their chaos and their traumas and their pain. Let them be there and love them while you go ahead and ascend to higher heights, all right? Because you are meant for so much more. To whom am I comparing myself right now? What you are able to see in another is only visible because it is within you, ready to be brought out. So shine your light on this feeling of not enough and see the truth. All that you need and want is within you. So today, stop comparing and start creating. Some of you are just living through others. Oh man, it's so good. Look at the, all their achievements and, and greatness and all that. And you're just sitting there watching when you can be doing for yourself, for your own life. You have the ability to be so much more 
so much more bigger, brighter. You just have to pull yourself out of it. You have to start being your own cheerleader. You have to start believing in yourself. You have to start loving yourself. You have to start trusting yourself. You can do this. You are more than capable. Does my life have room for more pleasure and play? In what area are you lacking pleasure right now? Maybe in certain relationships or with work? Is it possible to shift the seriousness of life to experiencing a more creative, wild, and playful side of you? Of course. Because some feel like, oh, I just got to keep working. I got to just keep working and burning myself into the ground. Some of you, you have a family. Think about your family, your children. Think about these places that you're working into. Like, do you, are you really happy there? Or are you just working there because, you know, it pays the bills? You know, the more fun that you have, the more money you can actually make. So it's time for you to start tapping into your creativity because you have been programmed and manipulated to believe that you are here to work five to five days a week, 50 to 60 hours a week. Then they take, they tax, they take so much money out of your taxes. You know, it's, it's just, it's too much. Then you left tired. Then you don't have any energy to be able to care for your children or, or to, to be there for your husband or wife or whoever significant other. Then some of you are caregivers because you're you being caregivers and, you know, respectfully is, you know, you to your loved ones that made choices and decisions, right? They made these choices and decisions to continue to keep on putting all this toxic stuff in their bodies. They made them this way. So now you stopping your life to go take care of somebody based off of a choice and decision that they made. Think about that. Everybody got to hold their own selves accountable. You have your own life to live. You have your own family to look out for. And what good will you be if you run yourself into the ground? Who going to take care of you? So what will happen? If you added more play and laughter into your life, what area is lacking this right now? Take time to play. Let go of any need to produce anything. Whatever it is, it's going to have to wait. Go have fun right now. All you have is right now. You have right now in the next moment, in the next moment, in the next moment. So you have to carve out some time to go play, to go have fun, to choose you, to put yourself first so that you can open up. When you do that, you are letting the universe know that you know what I do trust. I do know that miracles are real. I do believe and I know that I'm worthy of a good life. I'm worthy of spaciousness. I will set those healthy boundaries. I will put my foot down. I will put myself first. I'm not going to let anybody guilt me into thinking that I have to be there for them. They made their own choice. They chose to do that. Didn't nobody put a gun to their head and tell them to keep going to this place that they know that they ain't supposed to be going to. Keep on eating this stuff that they know they ain't supposed to be eating to. Keep on going to these people that's lying to them and giving them toxic drugs that will never make them feel better ever. Right? You've done what you can. It is not your responsibility. You are only responsible for your own self. You are only responsible for you. You come first. You matter. You have to give from your overflow only. Don't let this world guilt you into believing that you are meant to put your needs before others. No. What else could this mean? There are always multiple ways to look at every situation. Our first reaction is usually rooted in our fears and limiting beliefs. Look at a situation today by stepping outside of the trigger and ask, what else could this mean? Because it's something bigger, it's so much 
bigger than you. It's, it's a lesson in it. It is a lesson. Is there something your soul is calling you to learn in this moment? Or is there a pattern that is ready to be broken? Walk in the other person's shoes and see it from their perspective. If it doesn't involve someone else, ask yourself, how is life happening for me right now? There's an example that I like to use of say you're driving and a car cuts you off. So yes, your fears and your limited beliefs is gonna instantly make you be like a pistol and wanna curse them out. Like you literally giving all of your power, your love and your energy away to that person that cut you off. And that is not what you should do. You should hold the course, hold your energy, your love and your light. Instantly think, what is it teaching me? Where are you headed? Are you moving too fast? Do you need to slow down? Is it trying to stop you from an accident? Is it trying to save you from something? The universe, sometimes they have to do drastic things like making somebody cut you off or stop you so that you can really see what's going on because you can't keep going the ways that you've been going because those ways are not working no, no more. So they're telling you to stop. If you're someone that's always getting caught off by a train, it's because you need to stop. You need to listen. You're not going the right way. You have to choose another path. That way is not working anymore. So they're doing whatever they can to be able to get your attention. So yes, they gotta put that car in front of you to make you jump on your brakes. Yes, they have to stop you at a, at a red light so that you can stop. You have to stop. And you have to start asking the questions that is going to benefit you. No one is out to get you. No one is trying to punish you. You are punishing yourself. You're doing all of this to yourself because of the choices and the decisions that you are making. No one is forcing you to be in, an, in a battered relationship. No one is forcing you to be around people that is not serving your highest and greatest good. No one is doing this. You are making the choice each day, the moment that you continue to take yourself to these places. The minute that you continue to wake up next to the person that you know that you are not supposed to be with. You are making this choice. You are answering a phone call to these people that you don't want to talk to. You are going to these places that you don't want to go to. You are making these choices. So it's time for you to stop and do the things that truly make you happy. Wear the things that you want to wear. Do what you want to do for you. You don't have to be anyone else for anything else but for yourself because you matter because you come first, because you are enough, because you are a warrior, because you are loved beyond measure. You are limitless. You are limitless. You are limitless. You are limitless. You are enough. You are enough. You are brave. You are brave. We love you. We love you so much. Cry it out. Cry it out cry it out. Let it go. Let it all go. We are holding this space for you right now because you are worthy. You are beautiful. You are equipped. You are strong. You have been programmed for so long to play small. Nope. You've been to these places where your ideas have not been seen. So now it's time for you to go put your ideas into places where it will be honored and respected. Where can I ask for more help in my life? Until we can receive with an open heart, we're never really given with an open heart. When we attach judgment to receiving help, we knowingly and unknowingly attach judgment to giving help. There's no need to judge a thing. And when you open your heart, you just give from love without expecting anything in return. Then you open yourself to be able to receive the help. So today, ask someone for help and receive it with an open heart. If they want to give you something, take it. Just take it because you deserve it. Your mantra is, I ask for what I want and I'm open to receiving it. All right. How can I be more flexible right now? What are you trying to control? Maybe it's time to let go 
Let love move through you today and trust the outcome will be for your highest good. Remind yourself all day long that you are safe, that life is happening for you and that you are not alone. And then do some yoga. <laughs> okay, go do some yoga. Go do some stretches. Go go twerk. Go dance. Go sing. Okay, go shake that booty. <laughs> go have fun. <laughs> what if it isn't true? The thing you are telling yourself right now, the concrete reasons why you think you don't belong, you can't do it, you won't get there, you're not enough, or if it's not for you, what if it wasn't true? All right now, it's time for a soul chat. It is time for a very, very strong soul chat. Close your eyes. Right now, close your eyes. Put your hands on your heart. And ask the wise one within you. What if it isn't true? What else might be possible. What lie do I need to let go of to reach my soul's truth? Am I ready to let go of this buried shame? The feeling of shame is the lowest energy frequency there is. When you live in shame, you live in darkness. What part of you is ready to stand boldly in the light? Is there any shame from a past experience that is ready to be healed? You wanna heal the shame by giving it a name, bring it to the light and let it be seen, heard, and healed. It's revival season. Replace the shame with your soul's truth. My soul's truth is and fill in the blank. Now, the programming and the conditioning is making you feel like you're not good enough. It is not who you truly are. So you have to really start opening yourself up to the truth of things. This has uh, been long, so I'm going to stop this because there was a lot of messages that came out and we're going to continue with a part two.